Okay, we have a committee here. They're composed of a president, a vice president, and a treasurer. Now, what we want to do is we want to make our dashes here. So this is a typical permutations combinations problem, but instead of setting up those laborious formulas, we're going straight to the dashes. Okay, what do we know? Well, six people are trying out for the three positions. So it seems like any six can serve anywhere. So six can serve as president, five can serve as VP, four can serve as treasurer. We have the dashes, we always multiply. Six times five is 30 times four equals 120, which is answer choice E. It's that easy. The key though is to know when you use permutations and when you use combinations. So let's take a look at the second problem. A committee of three is to be chosen from six. Same setup, same three spots out of six people. But here it says how many uni unique committees result. Notice there's no extra information. We're simply choosing from a larger group to a smaller group. The order, president, vice president, treasurer, none of that matters. So it's a larger number and we don't care if you know, A is here, B is here, C is here, B is here, A is here, C is here. These under the combinations rule, same thing. You don't want to count them twice. So as a result, let's move the dashes over here. When we use the dashes for combinations, we're of course we're going to choose six here times five times four. You're going to divide by a certain number because you're going to be minimizing for these extra repeats here that are basically the same. So how many extra repeats do we have? Well, you always count the dashes. In this case, we have three. So you always divide by three factorial, whatever number, however many number of dashes factorial. So three factorial is six. We cancel those out. Five times four is 20. And just like that, we arrive at answer choice A. So now let's take a look at number three. The committee is composed of a president, vice president, and treasurer. It looks very familiar, right? President, vice president, and treasurer. How's it different? Well, if five people are running for president, okay, so you have five people running here for president, and then you have six different people running for VP, you can see it's different from this one because here we had the same group of six running for all the three spots. All of them were eligible for any of the spots. So here it's different people. So five for the presidents, six for VPs, and then for treasurers, you have three, three different people. But the math is the same. Once you put the number in the dashes, you just multiply together and you get 90. And just like that, we have answer choice D. Again, why did we use combinations here? Well, because it was important. A president is different from a vice president. It's different from a treasurer. So when you have these different setups, A, B, C, B, A, C, of course, the A, B, C standing for president, vice president, treasurer, whatever ha you have, it is going to increase the total amounts because this setup here is different from this setup. And that's why we have to make sure we put in five here, six here, three here, and we don't divide by anything. And of course, understanding all this extra stuff really is important once you get the dashes down and you know whether you use combinations or permutations. That's all that really matters here. We have 90, which is answer choice D.